Tyrese, these these mailbags are always fun. Uh, I should have given you a heads up on this, but I don't want to put you on the spot on this. But our last question is from Jason Schaefer. Tyrese, has somebody ever talked shit to you and it was so funny you had to tip your cap to them? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> and be pl- a player or a fan? Either one. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm trying to think of... Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me... T- I- I'll tell you one of the ones that I was like, the ones that I was one of the most confused by. Like, I was like, what? We played the Timberwolves last year in one of my first games here with Indy. I think I had 25 and 15. Like, I had a, I had a good game, right? And Ant and, 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 and guarded me. Um, but after the game, Pat Bev is barking because they won. And I'm like, what? And Buddy didn't have it. He guarded Buddy, but I think he got like four points. Like, Pat Bev did a good job, whatever. He looked at me dead in my eyes as I'm walking off the court and was like, you lucky I wasn't guarding you tonight. I'll lock that shit up. I'm like, what? I'm like, we played four quarters. You could have switched to the second quarter, the third quarter, the fourth. He went, and I was like, and that one, that one hung with me like all the way when I was driving home. I was like, what is he talking about? Like, that was one that stuck with me. Like I was confused. Uh, but uh yeah, I, I don't know if anybody's saying when I was like, that was all right right there. I don't think so. I don't remember a, a player really saying anything to me that made me tip my cap to them or even a fan. I mean, there, there were certainly some funny things. I, I've said this a million times, like the greatest sign I ever saw um, was my sophomore year at Maryland when somebody had a sign up that said, JJ drinks his own pee. I thought that was clever. I thought that worked. Um, <laughs> there was a fan, there was a fan in Charlotte who was sitting courtside and this was, I, this was my first year in Philly. And so I'm in year 13. Like at this point, unobjectively, I'm one of the greatest shooters of my generation, right? It's not like, that's not really up for debate. And it's early in the first quarter. And this guy always, actually, I take that back. It's my second shift. I hadn't scored my first shift. So the second shift, I'm back in with like, you know, four minutes to go in the first quarter. And the guy's like, you can't shoot. You're not a good shooter, JJ. You suck at shooting. And I just, I like, I like blacked out. I went on a burner. I went on a burner. I had like four threes in the last three minutes of the first quarter. And I hit this ridiculous buzzer beater where like I'm turning the wrong wrong way as I'm running to the corner. And I did one of, you know, the quick, the quick ones. You catch and you just shoot and you don't even hold your follow through up. And it went in at the buzzer and I'm like talking shit to him. And I don't know. That was the weirdest one I ever heard. I, I didn't tip my cap. It just pissed me off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there was a guy, there was a guy early in my career. And at this point, like I'm a rotational player. I'm averaging like 10 a game on the magic or whatever. And he's calling me a scrub and a bum in Atlanta, sitting courtside. And I remember being like, you must not watch the NBA. Like there's such an underappreciation for people like me, like role players. Like I'm not a fucking bum, dude. <laughs> like I'm not a scrub. I love, I love, by the way, Tyrese, I don't know if you have done this yet, but talking shit back to fans. Oh, it's an amazing feeling. 